Hello, welcome all. In this video, I am going to explain uh, this particular problem. So, what this problem is saying here is, so a uh, uh, vector is given, so that is g of r is equals to 10 e to the power minus 2z rho into a rho plus a z. So, basically from this expression also, you can understand that this is a cylindrical coordinate system. So, it is given that determine the flux of g out of the entire surface of the cylinder for rho equals to 1 and z value is uh, ranging from 0 to 1. Okay? So, the rho value is given as 1 and the z value is given as 0 to 1. So, and uh, cylindrical coordinate system, what are the uh, coordinates? So, rho, phi and z, right? So, rho value is given as 1 and z value is given from 0 to 0 to 1 and the phi value for a cylinder is range from 0 to 360 degree or 0 to 2 pi. So, with this initial consideration, let us solve this problem. And again, it has asked that confirm the result using the divergence theorem. So, we'll, this is the second part of the problem we will see. Okay. Now, how to solve this? So, let us consider that psi, sorry, psi is another function which is the flux of uh, flux that is coming out of the cylinder. Okay. So, that will be given as closed surface integral of the vector that is given over the integral of ds that is the surface integral. So, closed surface integral of the vector g that is given. So, now this can be breaked into three components. How three components? So, one is I will write t, one is psi b and one is your psi s. Okay. So, what are these? So, this is the component for top surface, this is the component for the bottom surface and this is your component for the side surface okay so if i if you see a cylinder so how does that look so okay so let me just draw a cylinder here for your reference So, uh, now if this is the cylinder, so one second, okay. So, it is saying that in this cylinder, so there are three components here. So, what are the components? One is top surface, one is bottom surface, one is side surface, okay. So, this one is the top surface and this one is the side surface, this side and this side as well. So, if a cylinder is there, you can have three surfaces there and one is the bottom surface. So, I am considering this bottom surface is psi b and side surface is s and top one is your psi top. Okay? So, individually we have to find it all the components and we have to add that and then we will get, then we'll get that what is the resultant flux of this. Okay? So, how do we find that? First of all, we will find for the top one. So, for if I consider psi t, okay, for the top. So, for top, what is the constant here? So, we know that z value is equals to 1. So, if, if we consider only the top surface, so in the question, the value is given 0 to 1. So, basically, this will be 0, this will be top surface will be your 1. So, z value is 1 here, sorry, this is comma. So, for top surface, the z value is equals to 1. And what is the differential surface here? ds is equals to what? So, see here in top surface, what are the coordinates? One is your rho and one is your phi. Okay? So, it will be rho d, rho d rho into d phi and the direction, resultant direction is in a z. Okay? So, that is how we consider it differential surface. So, with this consideration, what will be psi t now? So, the psi t or the top surface, uh, diverge, top surface integral will be equals to g dot d s. So, that is equals to so, we have to take double integral because two things are here. So, double integral first we will take rho value is 0 to 1. So, why 0 to 1? The rho value is given 1. So, basically the integration will start at 0 and it will go up to 1. So, rho 1 and your phi value. So, phi will start at what? 0 degree and it will go up to what? 2 pi. Okay. So, phi is like this. So, 0 to 2 pi. Right. And of what? Of 10 
e to the power minus so e to the power minus 2 z is here and for its uh, top surface z value is 1 so it is simply e to the power minus 2 instead of 2 into 1 okay now into rho d rho and d phi okay so with this double integration what value will get so this will be now 10 into e power minus 2 that is constant and here you will get 2 pi okay so integration of d phi it will come only as 2 pi and integration of rho into d rho so it will come as rho square divided by 2 and over the range of 0 to 1 okay so this is the fast integration now finally what it will be so if i multiply this 0 to 1 if I put so uh, 0 is 0 so 1 by 2 2 to get cancelled so I will get 10 into e power minus 2 into pi ok so I can write like, uh, write like this 10 into pi into e power minus 2 so I am getting this this putting the value 0 and 1 over this rho square by 2 so this is my psi t ok next is how to find the second term second term is what second term is your psi b ok so for psi b what is the constant we know for the bottom surface z equals to 0 how it is see for the bottom surface the z value is equals to 0 and the range of the other two remains same so we have to use the same thing here so z equals to 0 and here differential surface ds is equals to rho into d rho into d phi this is the differential surface and here the resultant direction is in minus z direction that is important minus az you have to write ok so here see it is in the minus az direction and previously it was in the plus az direction ok so like this you can do and uh, then we will put the values so your psi b will be equals to g dot ds and here it is double integral of the same range so rho equals to 0 to 1 and phi equals to 0 to 2 pi same range ok and into 10 into e to the power so z is 0 here so minus 2 z so e power minus 2 z it will come as e power 0 so here write 10 e power 0 into rho into d rho into d phi ok now again the same thing here and uh, minus z is also there as minus z is there so it will be what now it will be minus 10 into 2 pi into rho square by 2 over the range 0 to 1. So see compare this one. So here it was plus 10 and e component was there because z was 1 and here a e component is not there because e power 0 and negative is there because of minus a z. Okay. So here also you can write minus a z and amplitude of that is minus 1. Okay. So this will come as, as minus 10 into pi how so 2 pi is here if you put one value or 1 by 2 2 to get cancelled only 10 pi is there next is find the uh, side one okay so for side surface what is constant so throughout the side surface the value of rho that is equals to 1 okay so for side surface so for side surface your value of rho is equals to 1 that is constant and your ds ds will be what ds equals to rho dz into d phi and the outward direction is d rho okay a rho so that is the direction of the flux so see here a rho a rho is the direction so outward direction and the surface is uh, integration of what of the z and the z and the phi and the angle ok so over the z over the uh, this one and over the angle phi ok so how how it will be so psi s will be equals to integration of g dot ds ok so that is equals to integration of double integration of first one is z so z value is 0 to 1 so z value is 0 to 1 and phi value is equals to 0 to 2 pi and integration of what e to 10 e to the power minus 2 z here z is a variable so 2 z into rho square d z into d phi ok so why the rho square is coming so see here rho is multiplied here so that's why rho value is coming Okay. 
so that will be equals to how much so 10 and e to the power minus 2z over the 0 to 1 so it will be 10 into 2 pi sorry so 10 into 2 pi 2 pi is for this one and into what e to the power minus 2z divided by 2 integration of that sorry minus 2 in over the range of 0 to 1 so see here 10 into 2 pi 2 pi is for integration of this one and the d phi and integration of e to the power minus 2z over the range 0 to 1 is e to the power minus 2z divided by minus 2. So, if I take this the put the ratio then you will get 10 into pi 1 minus e power minus 2. So, how this is coming 10 into pi. So, here 2 to get cancelled to so 10 into pi and there will be two terms e to the power 0 minus e to the power minus z putting the value sorry e to the power minus 2 putting the value 0 and 1. So, 10 pi can be taken common so, and it will be the final form. Next is what we have to add all the terms. So, so final value will be what final value will be addition of the top component plus the bottom component plus the side component. Okay. So, that is equals to we got the first one as 10 pi e power minus 2 minus 10 pi okay, that is the second one plus 10 pi into 1 minus e power minus 2. So, if you add this you see 10 pi 10 pi will get cancelled 10 pi into e to power minus 2 10 pi into e power minus 2 will get cancelled. So, finally what you will get you will get at 0. So, this is the answer. Okay. Now, in the second part of the question it is asking that confirm the result using the divergence theorem. So, we got it 0 here and it is asking that confirm that through divergence theorem also the value will be 0. Okay. So, uh, how you can do that? So, we know that total flux that is equals to closed surface integral of g dot ds that is the divergence theorem is equals to what volume integral of gradient divergence of g sorry divergence of the vector over the volume. Okay? So, this is the divergence theorem. So, this theorem says that closed surface integral of any vector is equals to divergence of the vector uh, volume integral of divergence of the vector. Okay? So, now how do we find that? So, del dot g first we have to find what is the divergence. So, del dot g is equals to, so uh, you need to use the, the gradient formula of this uh, cylindrical coordinate system. Del by del rho of rho into g rho that is the g rho component, uh, rho component and 1 by rho into del by del phi of phi component plus del by del z of g z that is the z component. Okay, so, how it will find? So, 1 by rho into del by del rho of rho into so g rho component. Okay, so, what is the rho component here? It will be 10 e to the power minus 2 z. So, how I am writing this as rho component? So, see here, here rho into a rho is there. If you multiply the term here, then will the rho component is 10 e power minus 2 z into rho into a rho. Okay? So, this is the rho component. So, uh, sorry here it will be rho square 1 rho will come plus 1 by rho and phi component is there. So, phi component is not there. So, it will be 0 1 by rho del by del phi of 0. Why 0? You see in the expression there is no phi component. So, phi component is 0 here. Okay? Then plus del by del z of then the dz component. So, what is that dz component can be written directly as 20 into e to the power minus 2z. Okay? So, 10 e to the minus z into del z. So, this is uh, this will come your um, okay, one more actually I am just skipping one step. So, 10 e to the power minus 2z is the z component. Now, if you take the del, uh, del by del z of e to the power minus 2z, minus 2 will be multiplied with 10 and you will get how much? Okay. So, uh, sorry for the disturbance. So, now, yeah. so here if you calculate this one, so rho rho will get cancelled here. Again here uh, 20 to the power minus 2z is there. So, if you take the derivative with respect to rho, so rho square will be rho now. So, it will be how much? 2 into 1 by rho into 2 into rho into 10 e to the power minus 2z 
and here it will be uh, here it is minus sorry so minus 20 minus 20 to the power 2z so you will get how much so row row get cancelled so into 10 is 20 minus 20 so it is 0 so it is proved that according to gauss divergence theorem also it is this one and according to the calculation of surface integral also it is the same so that is how we prove that according to gauss divergence theorem and according to your normal surface integral calculation both the values are same okay so with this we will stop the video and in the next video i will explain another problem